Hey, this is Kelly Neal here. We're here today to do some uh, drills, and we're going to do drills with a 22 training rifle, and we're going to do the drill over again with the real AR-15 firing for power ammunition. And these 22 training rifles have become very popular. This one is a Nordic component chassis for a Ruger 1022, so it's basically a Ruger 1022 made into an AR-15. Uh, Smith & Wesson makes a 22 long rifle AR-15, and so do several other manufacturers. They're excellent training tools that uh, really get you about 70 80 percent of what you need uh, when practicing and they're a lot cheaper to shoot it's a lot cheaper to shoot we do a 16 round drill here with uh, both guns and the drill you start at the high ready position and we're going to use this post as a barricade through the course of this drill and what I what I have you can't see the targets but what I have is I have a an IPSC metric target at 25 yards an IPSC metric target at 50 yards and then a, a little tiny uh, pepper popper at 75 yards, and then a, uh, a steel plate at 100. So this is a 16 round drill. I'm gonna shoot all those targets from various positions off this barricade. Uh, this drill has a lot of driving the gun around the barricade, a lot of driving the gun between various targets. And the, and the, the drill is going to be, I start high ready, I shoot one on the paper at 25, one on the paper at 50, then I'll transition to the barricade, Get a good barricade grip, notice I'm leaning into the gun, then I'll shoot the steel, steel, get the gun around the barricade, shoot paper, paper, use the barricade, shoot steel, steel, paper, paper, then I go to reverse kneeling, steel, steel, paper, paper, reverse kneeling, steel, steel. So it's a 16 round drill, there's a lot of gun movement, a couple things to watch are when you are transitioning between the various shooting positions, your finger needs to come off the trigger. And hopefully I'll do that, you'll be able to see it on video. <laughs> then we're gonna do it with a real AR-15, except I'm gonna move the steel back, and we'll be shooting the steel at a couple hundred meters. Okay, so, let's start this out with a 22. Again, you get most, everything you need practicing with these 22s, except perhaps the recoil control, because the guns do have very little recoil. All right. Shoot it ready. Stand by. Unload and show clear. Okay, so that's a pretty good drill for uh, 16 rounds of 22. 16 rounds of 223. You know, that's almost uh, 12, 15 dollars today's prices. One thing using these barricades, these posts are pretty good because they're they're real solid and uh, they're almost as good as like a VTEC barricade. <sighs> when you're shooting, you have to change your hand position when you're shooting off the side of the barricade. And when I'm shooting off the right hand side of the barricade, my hand basically makes a letter L. And I put that, and then you wrap the rifle in that L on your thumb and forefinger. And notice how I'm leaning into the gun. You're not back like this. You, you lean into the rifle when you're shooting. And also notice when I transition to the sides, I bring the rifle up and straight back. There's no gun don't, not coming near the 180. The gun's coming up and straight back. And then on this side, your hand does a little more like this, where you grasp the barricade and there's pretty much the rifle drops into the L, but the L is a little more uh, horizontal instead of vertical. Again, you lean into it, get a good sight picture, squeeze the trigger. Yeah, notice how I have the hand guard on the barricade, not the barrel on the barricade. And I noticed this at uh, we had a rifle shotgun match here at Rio Salado a couple days ago, and a lot of guys were having a lot of trouble. <clears throat> They're resting their, their barrel on the barricade, and the barrel is basically a big tuning fork. And as it goes off, if it's, this tuning fork's hitting this solid thing, and their shots were going all over the place, usually high, because they were resting at a barricade like this. 
and they're resting the barrel on the barricade. You've got to be extra careful and extra sure when you're setting up the rifle that's the handguard on the barricade, not the barrel. Okay, now we're going to do the drill, same drill with an AR-15, except I'm, I'm going to shoot a steel target set of 100 and 200 meters this time. Instead of with a 22, I had them a lot closer. But it's going to be basically the same drill. Standing, standing barricade, standing, standing barricade, standing, reverse kneeling barricade, uh, kneeling, shooting up the paper targets, and then reverse kneeling on the steel. 16 round drill. Notice when, uh, notice I'm going to be resting the barricade, the uh, handguard on the barricade, not the barrel, and notice that uh, my finger should come off the trigger and come along the side when I'm doing these transitions. And also notice that I will keep the muzzle down range when I'm doing the transitions and not uh, swing and coming close to the 180. All right, so here we go. We got about five power because we're going to be shooting some long range. Shooter ready. Stand by. It's 3312. I believe I got all my hits on the steel. All right, we're out here uh, getting ready for deer season as well as practicing for three gun. And uh, we zeroed our deer guns, a 250 Savage and a 7 STW. We're also doing a lot of practice for deer season with a, a Ruger 22 rifle as a training gun, just like the uh, Nordic Components gun. That's just a 22 long rifle. Uh, Ruger 77-22. And I'm going to do a modified drill. I'm not going to do the high round count of drill as we were doing for three gun. I'm just going to be shooting the steel targets at uh, 50 and 75. Of course, I'm going to have to work the bolt between each shot. But this is just getting ready for deer season, working the barricade, because out in the field uh, you have trees and rocks and all sorts of stuff that you can use in barricades. So I'm going to shoot off the right, stand, right side standing, left side standing, right side uh, reverse kneeling, left side reverse kneeling. Shooter ready. Stand by. Show clear. So again, you can get much a lot of practice value out of these 22 rifles, and it's uh, just a lot cheaper. They actually pay for themselves in the end.